Today, November 9th, 1993, marks the 55th anniversary of Kristallnacht, the night of the broken glass. With deep emotion, with mixed feelings of joy and sadness, smiles and tears, we give thanks. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, shehechayanu, v'kiyamanu, v'higiyanu, v'azman hazeh. I would like to thank Bani Zitz for the beautiful sculpture he created. And this is going to be something that will be here forever. Thank you very much. The artist Barney Zeitz has created what I believe is a metaphor of those terrible years and of the suffering that was inflicted on our people. And so on behalf of the Holocaust survivors of Rhode Island and their families, we now dedicate this monument for the entire Jewish community of Rhode Island, for the people of the city of Providence, and for all the people of Rhode Island, with the exhortation which is emblazoned on this monument. For the dead and for the living, we must bear witness. So I, I heard about the competition uh, in the Providence Journal. Actually, my dad saw it uh, in the paper while I was away. And uh, a com competition, to design a finished piece for a competition is very, very difficult for, a, for an artist. Uh, but the subject matter in this case was so important to me that I, I really wanted to go the distance, which in this case was using drawing uh, to display what I would build in metal and large at that. Uh, so it was a three-dimensional object drawn two-dimensionally and I had to do literally hundreds of little sketches and some more finished drawings to get the idea together. Um, it's just you want to get it right but you don't know what it is. It takes, it takes a lot of time to like think you know, I could be up in the middle of the night and draw a little sketch and throw it in a, you know, as a bookmark and, you know, I'm still uncovering these things. Um, over the course of 22 years, I've been doing basically stained glass projects for uh, temples, churches, libraries, private homes. Uh, you know, I was working two-dimensionally, even though the qualities in glass are very, um, you know, they can be three-dimensional in quality, they are still basically flat. And uh, the drawing, I can't stress how much uh, enough, how important drawing is. But to take this drawing, once I won the competition, and translate it into you know, a steel object that was going to weigh close to two ton, uh, I really needed to make these shapes um, three dimensionally. So what we did was cut foam core and piece together uh, you know, the top uh, and, and just to. to which was actually the most complicated, the animal leaf shapes. Uh, and I think that that is something that's pretty important to do because you just, you just can't take up tons of steel and start pushing it around. I mean, maybe on a small piece you can work that way. But we really needed to get things precise to find out what these wings should be made, you know, how thick the, the metal should be, how the wings all meet, and be able to uh, we have them really accurate. All this was cut by hand. We don't want to have to do it two and three times. You know, there's 12 wings and six bodies, 12 upper sets of wings, which I think of as uh, angel wings. But it all kind of comes out as a uh, an abstract kind of uplifting, positive kind of thing at the top. But this all was worked out in foam core first. It took lots of time getting that together. Wait a minute, this is all good. <laughs> That's beautiful, it's immortalized. <laughs> okay. That's perfect.
not stable, so I think I better wait. Okay. Yeah, but back it up. I just want to see how far down it is. That's to go down about four. There's a line right here for the foot, though. Oh, okay. So, so you're just going to go down. Yeah, but it's different out there than it is on the inside. I want it to be quite different. Check that plumb anyway. I mean, that, that nail doesn't look straight up and down anymore. We might have hit it. But that's damn close to center. You just watch. Maybe I should make my will out. Yeah. Planks running this way. We're really safe. I know. What we should have is the wood board too. If you just put this on the front end, like the wood, you know? Yeah, because then it couldn't flip over. I'll have to go get some more. You want um You want me to stand up there and hold it? Um, okay. What was I doing? Very much. tight. You could just clamp it again. So. You hold that tight. It goes right up to the uh, Flip it up. Yeah, I need more off then. Yeah, yeah. That works out pretty well. Okay. Alright. And these thickeners we'll put, we're definitely gonna have to do it. We'll do them like when we take it down before we put these other on right in here. I like this a little lower. Yeah. I can't believe a couple of little tacks are strong. Like that. And this is nice, we don't have to fill all that. Plenty of weld on this side, I'll just make a real big scoopy thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's adjustable, I can stop it. 